Today on BCPOV, <laughs> I tangle with a snake, we spot a thing, I reconsider my life choices, a man jumps his bicycle, and Yuka goes, oy 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 After converting our van under a prawn, yanking out a corroded seat post via wife, and riding a Hot Wheels track for bikes, the Australian sun was getting to us. So we headed south, really south, in search of lower temperatures, via a large boat to a much cooler island known to the locals as Tazi. From there, the target would be a small village called Derby. Rumor has it, the riding is pretty good here. Having ridden sandy flow trails for the past month, we desired something with grip and jank. Good. As such, we jumped straight into the deep end. A trail called Detonate should fit the bill. Ooh, yeah. Rated double black, it's famous for one notable feature, the chute. Oh yeah, this is the famous one here. Wow. The carnage. Carnage. carnage tunnel. Yuka's characterization is spot on. A few years ago, they ran an enduro race down this, and the results were predictable. And though your favorite YouTuber has ridden it, caution is wise. Did a Mackie ride this? In spite of its violent history, I was keen to have a go. I just needed to check something first. <laughs> I just want to check my bars fit. Hmm, seems be tight, I have to say. It's like three inches, four inches on each side. Oh, wow. Good job. Kind of scary. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fine. Your bars are way narrower than mine. That's true. Plus, she's just mentally stronger. <laughs> Bit scary. The following day, our hunt for technical riding continued. It rained last night, and I think it's making the trail more grippy. Anyways, on a trail called Roxanne. Because, presumably, a lot of rock. And this is like a rock garden. After the shoot the previous day, this chunky section of rocks should take things down a notch. But to the uninitiated, the way down is not so obvious. Are you gonna do that? Yeah, what do you think? Uh, you fit on it. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, uh, you can try. <laughs> you gonna do it? I think so. The kid was really scared for me. What? Are you gonna do it? <laughs> By now, you may have noticed the whole area is covered in large rock, which makes for some pretty fantastic slabs. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh, yo, 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 yo! Oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh god. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, didn't know that was there. The region actually reminds me a lot of Squamish back home. The thing is, beneath that hard surface is tin. Long before Derby became a mountain bike destination, the main industry here was mining, and the remnants from that time have become features. The Derby tunnel is probably the most interesting. Oh, uh, the lights don't work in there, so you have to use your phone. Okay, is it really dark? Oh, uh, yeah, you can't see. <laughs> okay, thanks. So cool. Oh my god. Oh, I can see the end now. Oh, it's wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what happened to Yuka? I cannot see anything. My my eyes are not adjusted yet. Okay, I can see Eric. Is that you? No. Oh my god, this tunnel is so long. It's so dark. Okay, I see nothing. I see nothing. I see nothing. We've been outside all day, so my eyes are not good in the dark. With the sketch factor maxed out, we decided on something a little more relaxed. A trail by the name of Bay of Fires would take things down a notch. And as it turned out, the first 13 kilometers would be some of the best single track we'd ridden anywhere on the planet. As we moved towards the coast, the fern-filled rainforest transitioned into an open, arid woodland. It's a completely distinct biome out here. In the nearby town of St. Helens, at the top of the mountain, certain precautions have been taken in light of this change. What is that thing? Like wash? At the top of the mountain? Or more like a maybe echo tester. Looks like a bike wash, doesn't it? The wash station is designed to neutralize a plant killing fungus. Giving your bike a quick rinse will prevent it from spreading. Oh, oh I broke! <laughs> it broke! Oh no! Okay, let me try. Here, film. <laughs> We're wasting a lot of water. I know! And now it's stopped. Oh, <sighs> I'm wet now. How did you get so wet? <laughs> I sprayed myself. <laughs> I, for one, am glad these precautions have been taken because the wildlife out here is unbelievably interesting. And just by being out in the bush, you're bound to cross paths with them. The echidna, a relative of the platypus, is the cutest thing ever. They don't seem to mind bikes either. I was also lucky enough to see an endangered Tasmanian devil crossing the road. Though I didn't capture it on film, we did get to see a few more at a wildlife sanctuary. On our way south, in Canberra, the kangaroos were everywhere. In Tasmania, its smaller cousin, the wallaby, is common. In fact, I nearly hit one in St. Helens. Hello. 
Okay, I just almost hit a wallaby. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's model of time. It's just a matter of time. But the reality is that not everything is cute and furry. Ants are everywhere and they bite. As for snakes, of the three species found on the island, all are venomous and they're not rare either. Back in Derby, it didn't take long for our first sighting. Oh, Yuka. What? Black snake. Oh, where? Oh, right there. Apparently the black ones are bad. Oh, really? Yeah, he just went under the rock, I think. As for our second sighting, well, let's say this one wasn't quite as lucky as the wallaby. Did you catch that? In case you missed it, I just ran over a tiger snake, the deadliest in Tasmania, and I didn't even notice. Luckily, it seemed to scurry off the trail as Yuka went by. The blue-tongued skinks are harmless though, if not a bit lazy. Yeah, yeah, go on. I don't know how you say that. Aragon. Aragon? 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 Yeah. Trail names in Australia can be somewhat confusing to outsiders. Often based on thick accented Aussie slang, they just don't compute with my Canadian sensibilities. Luckily, the shuttle driver at the bottom would solve the riddle for us. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we just did. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Like Aragorn or? There you go. Yeah. Oh, how are you going? There you go. Oh. Australian slang. I just I would just read Aragorn. I'm like what? <laughs> <laughs> Understanding that little tidbit had me loving Aussie culture all the more. But it was now time to learn to love the trail, one filled with sizable gap jumps. Our first lap was cautious. That's big. Getting the lay of the land was key. Oh, that was a big case. Oh my god. What kind of feature is that? Oh, oh, oh. That was a sketchy. But after the initial lap, the trail showed promise. Oh, that was good. I can do one more lap like that. So we did. The trail was really coming to us, with just a few features out of reach. That was fun. Yeah, I did better that time. Me too. I think I can get that big step down. Uh, which one? Mm, before the step up. <sighs> there's a big, there's a sign before it says step down. Oh yeah, yeah, the big one. Yeah. The next time, I guess. Maybe if I follow somebody. As luck would have it, I found just the right person to help me get over the step down. What's your name, by the way? Jai. Jai. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it's like trying to read that name, like Aryagarn. Like <laughs> it's, it's a great name. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Good. Sweet. Whoa. Got a little sideways in the air there. Oh, I'm not doing it. I guess you couldn't catch up with him, huh? And oh, there he is. Right, I didn't do it. I got sketchy on one of the jumps back there. Oh, yeah. And then just kind of a bit sideways in the air. It's quite big. You want to measure? But I think I can do that. But yeah, you caught me off guard because you did one of the bigger gaps over there and I, I did a small side. Okay. Yeah. It's basically just a trail speed. Yeah, I think like, so. You can do those, that first burn. Oh, that's quite big. 
How big is it? 27. Shall I give it a go? Yeah, sure. Do you mind uh, towing me in again? Oh, do it. Of course, Yuka couldn't miss out on the fun either. Good. Whee! Nice! Uh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> yes! Yeah, it's uh, pretty easy. It's yeah. nice, you can see the landing. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's there. Ah, Tasmania. What a wonderful part of the world. A place of lush rainforests, filled to the brim with wildlife, smattered with world-class single track, which often end at gorgeous beaches. Any chance I could get one of those Aussie passports?